I'm looking for. Well, here we are. Again, one of my favorite spots. Yeah, right. Grocery shopping. This is the uh, cosmetic aisle. And uh, they have some of the same brands you have in the USA. But not everything. Some brands you probably never heard of. But similar products. I don't know if they all come from China or not. The ones in the US. I don't know where these even come from. You know? It's just, uh, what? Early in the morning, Tuesday morning. It's full of bar soap and bath soap. There's some of the stock they received probably overnight or just recently. We got a little bit of everything that's sore. And uh, we gotta get moving here before I run out of my three to five minutes. They sell clothes and stuff. A few clothes. To me, this looks a lot like a dollar store in the U.S., more so than a grocery store. But they have both, you know. Roses and looking for laundry products, paper products. Yeah, they have a whole aisle of paper products. And of course, all the stores will have, every store I've been so far, the good size stores to sell, sell alcohol. And they'll sell, oh, America's favorite brand. Coca-Cola and a Sprite. Coca-Cola product too in the world. And, uh, we'll get down here a little further. We'll go out towards the back. They even got Gatorade. And of course, they're playing Christmas music in the background because it's only about, what, 10 days to Christmas, roughly, from now? Uh, what do they got? This is where they have a I got feel like a testament in the meat market and stuff. We're going to come up on it shortly. This is a little different than the uh, neighborhood one because it's a little more, I don't know what you want to call it. It looks more like a western one. With meat cases and all that stuff. You know, I never out in the open. We'll put it that way. We got beef products. Here they're gonna cook the meat so good to kill everything that I don't know if they good or not, but they're really gonna do it. And the bacteria and stuff. And they got like eggs right there. Eggs. I wouldn't like your two geese is going too fast. And they sell a lot of stuff like hot dogs. Good money. <laughs> Chicken parts. We have a rice market with ten different kinds of rice, at least. <laughs> Maybe more. Then they buy them in small bags compared to the local uh, market on the street. Farmers markets have you know, 50 pound kilo bags. Oh yeah, well, I gotta see that sausage here. Where did I see it? But my beekeeping phone is back in the United States. Now oh, look at this. Right straight ahead of us. 50 kilos of sugar at a time. I saw white sugar, 50 kilos a piece. Oh, there's those. I don't know how much a kilo it is, no idea. I don't see a price nearby. So I don't know how much it is. It's a park of the Philippines. You got a 99% chance this would be in uh, cane sugar, but no problem. I've never seen beet sugar raised here. They always talk about sugar cane here. All the locals never heard a word about beet sugar in the Philippines. Uh, or even GMOs, put it that way. I have it. They have them? I don't know. Don't know. Unknown factor. They have all kinds of cans. But they go down to small cans for families that can't afford a lot. They turn around and put them in normal cans. I don't think there's much of a savings, but they can save two pesos and six cents. They think it's a big deal. They must use as much as they buy in one meal. A one meal type thing. You know, if they get ten people, five people will pay me five meals that day, and that's it, if you know what I mean. They, they, 
seldom have leftovers. And I say never leftovers, but seldom. There's some fruits and stuff, fruits and vegetables over there. And then you get, then you get your glass cases, or sometimes crab meat, and you get all kinds of stuff. Yogurt, cold, cold cut type meat, not a lot of variation, a lot of hand products, pig products. Pig is, pig is king in this country compared to any other kind of meat they raise. It just is. Which I think is going to go out of business shortly. This part of the world because of the black swan flu or something like that. African, I think it's called. I think all the pigs in this part of the world will be dead in about three to five years. If they don't catch the thing. There's no virus. There's a virus. They have no way of curing it so far or even slowing it down. Of course, you get all kinds of other stuff in here. And I'll shut the camera off because I got my five minutes. Goodbye.